Good morning, folks. Geospace turbulence affecting the Solar Dynamics Observatory briefly this morning. These jolts happen often when the satellite hits the current sheet or there's a change in solar wind parameters. Today we've got no sunspots, but plenty to see on our star. The big earthquakes continued. Weather news and events and a trip out to space is on deck as well. We'll do it all starting at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last day on our star may not have sunspots, but the coronal holes have taken over the disk. Solar wind is about 24 to 36 hours away from those openings, and they have the earthquake watch high. The solar wind is calming this morning as we await that intensified stream. You can see us coming down off the peak in purple plasma speed, leaving geomagnetic conditions returning to quiet after that brief instability on the 24th. Here's that big earthquake yesterday. Folks, it's the third big one in a row to strike our alert zones. Puerto Rico, Pakistan, and now Indonesia. You can learn more about the process of seismic forecasting, use real-time forecasting tools, and more at quakewatch.net. The human forecasting comes through our app and our Twitter account. Folks, this is on the homepage of weather.com this morning. The Weather Channel pushing hard on the global warming doom as the UN puts out its secondary reports while not yet having to update to the new numbers. This is part of the worldwide surge in mostly benevolent but still horrendously misguided activism this week. This is the reason we've been going hard the last week on the topic, and we have shared how the Secretary General condemned the activists as extremists, even calling them dangerous, and said global warming was not the end of the world. Then two days ago, it was some easy-to-understand numbers that should really make one reconsider the future of this scientific field, and yesterday we showed a book from one of the world climate experts and the brief introduction to his confessions of flawed modeling. And of course, Climate Forcing, our full-scale film from August 28th. Quarter million people have seen it already. Have you? Moving on. Also from the Weather Channel, please be advised that winter starts now for part of the Rockies, up to three feet expected in the highest ranges. We saw a hailstorm hit Manitoba, taking out the remaining crops that survived the last one that struck there, Numerous regions around there were hit multiple times recently, while others have been entirely spared. Looking ahead to tonight in Europe, that powerful low will have some significant storms on the southeastern edge. Wherever they landfall could see significantly adverse conditions. Let's go to the science news and begin with an interesting look at a carbon monoxide distribution in a galaxy. The goal here is actually a biological cell to galaxy combination study. Can cellular research and galactic surveying help each other? You might be surprised. Up next, we're looking at galactic nuclei coming together. Chandra has found a triple nucleus system set to potentially combine and form a mega galaxy. Now here's where the electric and plasma theory proponents need to remember that our different take on black hole science isn't that nothing at all is there. There's something there for sure, and if you want to get deep into the plasma cosmology, you have to first understand the mainstream take on black holes. NASA is allowing us to do that today with a labeled graphic and in-motion visualizations to aid in their descriptions. For those who might not know this, the mainstream versus the Taurus jet plasma models really only differ about 10 to 15 percent. One of the reasons black hole science is in trouble is untraceability. This article discusses their hopefulness to find the seeds of black holes, which, alas, have remained utterly absent in the history of observation. FYI, that 10 to 15 percent difference is partially in the formation aspect, so the lack of black hole seeds over age is not shocking to a plasma cosmologist. Last but not least, sticking with cosmology but going from the very, very large to the very, very small. In a crushing effort from top-level theorists, we're finding that some of the dark matter limits are wrong, and they are wrong in the wrong way if you hope to find it. It would be one thing if their constraints were wrong and more potential was open than they thought, but alas, it's a paper saying that previous claims of available space left for the missing particles is also off the table. Whether it's particles, black holes, the start of the universe, or ongoing dynamics, our film Plasma Universe can get you caught up on billions of dollars in research and decades and decades of papers in about one hour. Cosmology, Earth Catastrophe Cycle, Climate, and much more will be on deck at Observing the Frontier 2020. There are only four days left in this heavily discounted pre-registration period, which ends at the end of the month. 
Go to observatoryproject.com for details. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.